Nouveau Vitesse to Jacques Berthier. And uh, welcome, Professor. Good morning. Good morning, um, everybody. Get, I, I just mentioned that you've been managing uh, together with Michael Keller and Rudy Koopmans the, the, the project since the very beginning. So this is the day. This is the day to present, you know, from the starting vision to the development and the results that you were that you have reached. Yes, the regions of the alpine space have important stocks of biomass resources. The knowledge and technology to develop sustainable solutions in several sectors, such as wood, agrofood, green chemicals, and bio-based materials. For this reason, the shift towards a bio-based economy represents an opportunity that should be seized. This is a statement of the bioeconomy subgroup led by Gerd Meyer zu Köker in the framework of Özalp Action Group 2. The task of this group is to increase the economic potential of strategic sectors, and the bioeconomy can be considered as one of the most promising. Some partners of the Interreg Alpine Space Project S3 for Alp clusters, joined by members of the already mentioned subgroup, have, under the leadership of the Plastic Innovation Competence Center in Fribourg, Switzerland, submitted in 2017 an interreg project entitled AlpLink BioEco, linking bio-based industry value chains across the Alpine region. A project that brings us together today for its final conference. The project was kicked off in Fribourg in the early summer of 2018 in one of those real world meetings that we are we all start to daily miss after more than a year of the COVID pandemic. The main objective of the project was to develop a methodology to connect diverse biofeedstock producers with intermediate product developers and end user of high value application, addressing critical societal needs to create new cross-regional value chains. Picture one, please. The project was implemented in four work packages. A first set of activities was concerned with setting up a cross-regional database and inventory to map existing resources, actors, and relevant policies. As we will see in a second, the knowledge of resources and actors and the cluster mapping were essential for the development of the value chain generator in the second work package. While the inventory of bioeconomy related to policies allowed the elaboration of a master plan for a joint alpine space bioeconomy strategy and policy recommendation. The second work package was dedicated to developing a methodology for a demand-oriented matching of actors in new value chains. This methodology has resulted in the development of the value chain generator software tool. The third work package was the piloting phase of the project. Based on the database and developed methodology, the project partners conducted 11 piloting sessions with real economic actors from the Alpine space to demonstrate value chain ideas in four specific domains, wood-based products, agro-based products, packaging, and finally, chemistry. The fourth, work package was dedicated to formulating policy recommendations based on the inventory of relevant policies in the participating regions, a roadmap and master plan for a joint bioeconomy strategy in the Alpine space was drafted. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jacques Bercier. Professor Bercier, lovely to hear from uh, politicians and entrepreneurs that the dialogue at the macro regional level is working and it was smooth. But I want to hear from you because you've been working intensely, coordinating 14 projects with nine different Alpine region partners. So what's your experience and do you agree with what we heard so far? Yes, absolutely. And uh, creating bio-based value in the Alpine space this has been our overall objective with the AlpaLink BioEco project. And our approach has been first and foremost a practical one, which is normal for a University of mm -hmm. Applied Science leading such a project. 
In the following minutes, it's time to uh, show the big picture. You will discover the value chain generator software developed by the ICOSIS Institute, Institute of Complex System of the School of Engineering and Architecture of Fribourg under the leadership of Professor Andreas Fischer. The next session will shed light on the pilot experience made during the project. Dorian Wesley, project manager at the CleanTech cluster of business Upper Austria in Linz, will present the organization and results of the piloting sessions dedicated to initial real-world bio-based business opportunities with companies from the Alpine regions. The piloting phase coincided with the outbreak of the COVID pandemic. If the results of the experience were so encouraging, it was thanks to the tireless and solidarity collaboration among our partners. And I would like to warmly congratulate them for the remarkable results obtained under the very complicated conditions. The piloting sessions resulted in what I would call the success stories of this project. Some of the piloting sessions based on value chains built with the VCG have led to concrete collaboration, the setting up of new projects and even as Udo Eckloff, a plastic specialist from Internet Kronstoff, will demonstrate the development of a prototype plant. Professor Manuela Romagnoli from the University of Tuscia, our project partner specialist in wood technology and harvesting, will show us how she was able to disseminate scientific concept to industrial partners and produce concrete cases. Finally, the VCG has also helped to create success stories as a networking tool. In fact, it can be useful for a cluster manage manager to develop new business for its member, for a development or innovation agency, or simply by a company to find new suppliers or new customers. Mrs. Patricia Giraudier, director of Novashim France, will share her experience as a cluster manager who used the tool to create links across borders. The last session of the conference will be dedicated to the policy recommendation developed during the project. Professor Ralf Kinderwater, CEO at BioPro Baden-Württemberg, will present the master plan towards a joint bioeconomy strategy of the Alpine space. For everyone interested to learn more about the presented topics, the final publication gives a comprehensive overview Exactly as this final conference, the book follows the three lens, lenses through which the challenge of creating bio-based value in the regions of the Alpine space has been studied during the project. The VCG software tool, the collaborative pilot experience with extensive case studies, and the master plans toward a joint Alpine space bioeconomy strategy. Picture down, please. As lead partner, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who supported our project during the past three years. You will excuse me for not naming all the partners, but I would like to mention the contribution of the PICC in the management of the project of Confindustria Lombardia for the communication and of Business Upper Austria in the financial management. Special thanks to the leading entities of the work packages, Poly for EMI, hosted by Anteja for the first one, the ICOSIS Institute in Fribourg for the second one, the CleanTech cluster from Bizer for the third one, and BioPro associated to Fraunhofer, Italia, and Anteja for the last one. Many thanks to the members of the advisory board and the joint secretary. Finally, I must thank Michael Keller, my scientific assistant and the driving force behind this project. He has put all his skills, his diplomacy and his time at the service of this common cause, creating bio-based value in the Alpine space. Yeah. Thank you.